In today's world, it's harder to build quality backlinks and organic traffic to your website. The process of manually reaching out to influencers and brand is time consuming and labor intensive. Today, I'm going to share with you an all in one outreach tool that's going to help you easily and quickly build quality links, promote your product and services on autopilot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. If you're here for the first time, my name is Toriel. On this channel, we do app reviews and tutorials to help you build a profitable online business. If this is something that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel for future content and drop some likes and some comments. So this outreach automation app we're going to review today is called the Postaga. I came across this app a couple of weeks ago and decided to try it out. So what makes them really stand out here is it's an all-in-one automation tool, right? You don't have to go find different apps and stitch them together. You can do everything in inside of one dashboard. And most importantly, validating the contact and finding their right data has been super, super easy. With that being said, now let's fire up our Postaga account. The first thing here is our dashboard. If you already have ongoing campaigns, it will look something really similar to this. It shows you the email sent, the replies and reply ratio. And first and foremost, let's go through some of these menu items so you get a gist of it, get familiar with it, and you know which one does exactly what. We're going to create a campaign from scratch just in a moment. So that's the second option here is a campaign. Content Hub is basically scanning your domain and to find potential partners you can reach out to. And from there, we have emails. So all the email templates will be located right here. You can create new email templates. If I want to edit the existing email template, give that a click. Here is how you compose individual emails and put them together as a sequence. If you pay attention to here, a lot of these are something called the merge fields. Basically, it's going to dynamically populate and swab and include the value. So to make this entire email super unique, keep that in mind, it's really important that you avoid some of these email service providers spam filter, right? If you send a generic email over and over, all your emails will end up landing on the spam folders. If you want to learn a little bit more on email outreach and specifically how to avoid getting your emails landing on the spam folder and to make it more professional operation, I came up with some valuable tips and tricks and resources definitely check out the links in the description below. One of the really cool features that stood out to me is a spin text. So what spin text allows you to do is basically putting a whole bunch of value like this, hello, hi, or hey. So every time when a new email sends out, it will automatically spin and grab one of these value and it's gonna compose into the email. So this adds another layer of uniqueness to your email. So none of your emails sound exactly the same. And from there, we'll have all the emails scheduled will show up on this window and we have email sent and most importantly we have a sequence you can see here is a default sequence templates by Postaga. If I click on one of these edit sequence, you can see here, this is basically how you stitch the sequence together. You can build it on yourself as well. You can see the first one is action, send email. This is the specific email we're going to send them to. Next action step is a time-based delay. We'll wait for three days or hours or minutes, and then we send out email number two. And from there, we'll wait three more days, send email number three. And you can keep building this sequence and make it even more complex if you want to. And from there, we'll have a con and all the contacts will be located here. I'm going to show you guys how to validate the contact email. Postaga really made that entire process super easy. And next item, we have a CRM. This is customer relationship management, and we can also filter them based on their status. For settings wise, first one is account setting. Here's more detail you can fill in for your account information. Scroll a little bit further down here, you can see custom merge field. Earlier, we talked about it in composing the email section. We have four different merge fields we can create based on link, post, contact, and campaign. For example, for all the contacts I sent to, I want to include one variable or a custom field, call it company. Do a comma, that's how I'm able to create a custom field from scratch. And just wanted to mention something really, really important that if you want to do cold email outreach or outreach campaigns, you definitely want to comply with a country's law. Different country has different types of spam regulations. So you definitely want to read about it or consult with a lawyer first. In here, you can see we have a section called called a can spam. This is a US based 
spam regulation. By law, we have to give them an option to unsubscribe or type stop to stop receiving further emails from us. I strongly recommend you guys to turn on this feature, which is by default. The next one here is connected email. You want to provide an email for Postelga to send all these automation on your behalf. And now right before we create a campaign from scratch, let's quickly talk about the pricing and plans. First one is Pro, Pro Plus and Agency. You can see here in terms of user, we can have a five user, five and unlimited user for the agency plan. If you run an agency, mainly you want to run for clients, right? That's why they give you up to 30 different client accounts you can run as a sub account. So the major difference here is the contacts that we validate on a month to month basis that costs one contact, one credit. You can see here, for a pro account, we can validate 2000 contacts per month. They will reset every month, same as a pro plus. And for agency plan, we can validate up to 15,000 contacts. <music> And now let's create a campaign from scratch. You can see how Postaga makes this entire sequence seamlessly flow together. We have eight different steps in terms of creating a perfect campaign. First one is a campaign type. We have a six different objective here. It depends on if you want to promote your blog post, product or services, or if you want to generate sales or leads and you can do brand promotion. And the last but not least, if you want to be super customizable, you can always go with a CSV option where you already have a list of contact and you can directly upload it to Postaga and do further automation from there. Specifically, I want to go with a mention, meaning notify those that I mentioned in my blog post that I linked to them. And if you click on this drop down option, it's going to give you a little bit more description to read about. Another really cool, interesting one is resources here. You can reach out to the sites where the resources and pages offer your posts to them. You can click on the drop down again. You can see many sites write like 33 resources to help you achieve X, right? You can basically build an entire campaign structure around it to help you find those opportunity and reach out to the writers to help you include your post in their website. Let's go with the first one here, which is mention. And here is my post URL. And once I'm done with that, click on get outbound link. You can see here, right? I input a blog post link and a post taga automatically pull the title, the site title and the keyword of this blog post, which is booking app. And towards the middle here, we have a post category. We have author name. We have a publish date as well. And to the bottom here, you can see we have a custom post merge fields. There's four different options here. You don't have to really fill in each one of these, but ideally you want to fill in as many as possible to create unique email. The next step here is outbound links based on the URL I provided. Postaga automatically pull the relevant author or contact or brand and list them based on domain. So what I'm going to do now is click on get contacts. Postaga is automatically pulling and finding and validating the contact information based on the domain listed here. And now let's click on the next step. You can see automatically find two relevant contacts and both of their emails have been verified by Postaga. And obviously it's not just one person working for this company, right? You can click on show 37 others. It will list you the other contacts and depends on which one you want to reach out to. If you want to include that specific person, you can always give that a check and it will include that person as well. And scroll down let's collapse the 36. You can see we have inserted one more person. Let's include a couple other ones just to show you how it looks like and click on collapse seven others. And you can see here seven different contacts we found really shortly based on just one simple URL I provided to Postaga. And towards the bottom, you can see there's one red sign here it says one contact with a name that's not matched with the email and click on show that specific person. You can see first name and last name doesn't match or include in the email. So this is a small little detail Postaga does analyze and provide you so you can maximize your deliverability on your emails, right? In case if you run outreach campaign on a different software, now because all these contacts have been validated, you can export them as a CSV and directly upload it to different apps that you do outreach. And from there, we're going to click on next. The next step is email sequence. Here's a list of recommended five different mentioned email sequence. I'm going to randomly click on one of them. And here is how the sequence looks like email number one, wait for three days, email two, another 
three days and email three as a follow-up. You can always build your own sequence if you don't want to use these templates. And now, since everything is all loaded, let's click on next. The next step here is a spreadsheet view. Here's basically an overview of how the data looks like on the back end. You can see the contact email, the first name, the username, and the post URL, and so forth. You can always click on one of these icons to learn a little bit more about this contact. You can see we have a LinkedIn profile, we have a link, and we have about, and we have a pricing and all that stuff. And now this is one of the most important steps we want to review. Basically, it's previewing our email. You can see email, we're gonna send three in total, and here's all the contacts. If you choose different contacts, you can see the first name changes and the receiver's email changes as well. You can see that's how it's dynamically populated. If I toggle between the emails, you can see this is how the email one, two, and three looks like. And keep that in mind, guys, I did not compose this email at all. Basically, what I did is provided a blog post URL and letting the postaga to do the automation. You can see it composed this email beautifully without me touching anything. So at this stage, let's say you have some tweaks or updates you want to make to the email body. What you can do is hover to the right, click on it once, and you can tweak this email around once you're done with it. At the bottom, you can click on save email overwrite. And now this entire email has been updated. And last but not least, you always want to send a test email to yourself. Make sure there's nothing really weird looks in the email body. And to the bottom here, you can see included my name, my email signature, as well as giving them an option to opt out or unsubscribe. And how you add email signature is basically click on user, come to connected email. And you can see here's connected user, first name, last name. And to the bottom, you can see here is how you insert your email signature. If you use HTML based email signature design, then what you can do is click on the bottom right corner, click on this icon once. In this box, you can copy paste your email signature code. Now your email signature should be more professional looking. And this is it. This is the final step before we launch the campaign. I'm currently on the test mode because this is my first campaign. To the right, we'll have four more options, which is thread messages. I recommend to turn it on. So all the emails you send out to them will become a thread instead of separate email. And from there, we can send on the weekends on or off. If you don't want to bother them on the weekend, definitely turn that option off. And stop on reply, really important, right? You don't want to keep following them up when they already reply to your inquiry. And then at the end, we can track open. And most importantly, we want to select the sender. If you have a multiple different senders, you can select them from the list. When you're done with everything, click on launch campaign, sit back, relax, and let Postaga do its automation things. So that was a wrap up of the entire detailed review on this automation tool called the Postaga. Now questions back to you guys. What do you think about Postaga? Do you think this is powerful enough for running outreach campaign? Do you see yourself using it? What are the pros and cons of Postaga? Drop them below. I'd love to give them a read. If you do decide, give it a shot. The link is in the description below. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.